Good morning to all. Myself Shasna and today we are going to study more about the elementary shapes. So in my previous video of this topic we had learned about the angles and triangles. In today's video we are going to learn about quadrilaterals. Yes, now let's start. So firstly let's discuss what is this quadrilateral. So the quadrilateral is the closed figure made up of four straight lines. What, what will be the examples? Yes, the square, rectangle, trapezium, rhombus, parallelogram. Yes, we are going to talk about all of these today. Now let's start. Firstly, before starting, let's meet two instruments from the geometry box. So, that they are set squares. Yes. And how does this set squares look? So, basically, they look something like this. Now basically I had talked about these set square in one of my video of the geometry of the topic geometry. Yes, the previous topic of maths before this. Before this topic. So you can go through these. Go, you can go through that video by clicking on this I button. Yes. Now, let's move on. So basically, there are basically two set square. Now you will ask what are they? So they are something like this. Now let me give you the name of that. The name of both the set, set squares are not very unique and very fancy. It is just named. They are just named upon their angles. Now let's see. So one of the set square. One of the set square have, have the 45 degree, 245 degree angle and 190 degree angle. So hence it is called as 45, 45, 90 set square, 90 degree set square. Then another set square have the 60, sorry, 30, 30, 60 and 90 degree angle. Hence, it is known as 30, 60, 90 degree set square. So, very simple names. Yes, 45, 45, 90 and 30, 60, 90. Now, let's move on. So, these two set square. Now, you will ask, why, ha why have I bring bought these set square in, the, in this video of quadrilaterals? So, what is the relation between the set squares to the quadrilateral? So, a set square is nothing but the triangle. Yes. Can you see? Three angles. So, that means the set square is just a triangle. So, what is the relation between the triangle and a quadrilateral? Let's see. So, if I am going to bring two triangle of same angles and side, then I will get a quadrilateral. Don't believe me? Let's see. So if I am going to bring a set square right like this. Another, another one like this. What is it for? Yes, four lines. So that is basically the closed figure made up of four lines. Yes, it is nothing but the quadrilateral, right? Because it is made up of four lines. Like one, two, three, four. So that means that it is a quadrilateral. Now let's see the angles. So let's 
see that angles with the help of the set square. So we had, let's say that we had bring uh, 30, 60 and 90 degree set square. So this is basically nothing but the 90 degree angle, right? So this is going to be the 90 degree angle and this is also 90 degree angle. We can see that and just say that. Now what about these and these? This and this. Now, so here, let's say th if I will extract this triangle or this set square, I will get something like this. Now this is nothing but the set square, one of the set square. Now I have this one. So if I am going to flip it around, I will get this. Right? So let's say that this one is the 90 degree angle. Of course it is the 90 degree angle. Now let's imagine that this is 30 degree angle and this is 60 degree angle. Now basically what does that mean? That means that if I will see this one, this set square, so this will be the 60 degree angle. Yes, and this will be the 30 degree angle. Very simple. Now, when I flip this set square, set square, so what I will get? Yes, I will get something like this. If you will flip this around, so what will it become? Something like this. So, if you can compare that the 30 degree angle is going to be this one and the 60 degree angle is going to be this one. So if you want to understand this thing, so you can just take an origami paper, cut it like this and then flip it around and then you can see that it will look something like this. So this is going to be the 60 degree angle and this is going to be the 30 degree angle. Nice. So we have to find the angles. So 30 plus 60, what does it become? Yes, what is the sum of the 30 and 60? 90 of course. And over here also 90. So that means that they form the 90 degree angle all the way. All the angles are just equal to 90 degree. Now, I think that this is clear to you. If I will bring two, uh, two triangles of the same size. So then if I will place it like this. I will get a quadrilateral. Now or if you want to imagine this more better. So you can imagine that if we will have a square. Like this. And if we are going to cut it diagonally. So what is a diagonal? Like this. So if we are going to cut this out. So what we will get? Yes. Two triangles. Nice. So now let's move on. So let's talk about the quadrilaterals. So let's start talking about a very common one. Nice. Square. So, I think you know about the square. So, all the sides of the square. Let's see uh, according, let's see all the quadrilaterals by their sides. Then, angles and then diagonals. Let's see that. So, first thing which you can look at this square is that all the sides are going to be equal. Right? This is going to be equal. This is going to be equal. And all, are, all of these are going to be equal to each other. Now what about the side? What about the angles? So I think you know that all the angles are equal to each other. Or in the simple words are equal to 90 degree. All of these are 90 degree angle. Now I think that you know all of these. So don't get bored. Let me tell you one more thing. About that, about its diagonal. So if we are going to see the diagonal of the square like this and 
like this. So one thing which you can observe is observe that all of these angles are equal and one amazing thing about the square is that all of these meet at 90 degree. Don't believe me. So let me tell you by the help of these markers. So if I am going to do like this and can you see? So basically it is 90 degree intersecting at 90 degree. This one and this one. Very amazing. Isn't it? Yes. Now let's move on. So I think these diagonals and the angles and the sides of a square is clear to you. What about the rectangle? Very similar to the square, right? Yes. So if you are going to see a rectangle, like this, one thing which you can observe is that opposite sides are equal. Very, very common thing. So opposite sides are going to be equal to each other. Now, what about the angles? Right, all the angles are going to be equivalent to 90 degree. There is no, nothing special about this. But wait, what about the diagonals? Let's see. So, if we are going to draw the diagonals, how many diagonals will it have? Of course, two. All the quadrilaterals are going to have the two diagonals. Now, see right over here. So, these, what about these diagonals? So, are they intersecting at 90 degree? Of course, no. So, what is special about these diagonals? Can you see something? These, both the diagonals are going to be equal in length. Yes, you can measure this out also. So, that means that a rectangle has a diagonal which are, uh, uh, the diagonals of a rectangle are equal to each other in the length. So, in the square, the diagonals, the both of the diagonals were equal in the length and also intersecting at 90 degree. But this, uh, this rectangle only have the diagonal which are equal to each other. Nice. So, what about the parallelogram? Nice. So, let's see that and let's explore another quadrilateral parallelogram. So, so this parallelogram is something with opposite sides equal and parallel to each other. Nice. Let's see that. So what is the definition? Opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other. So here nothing is mentioned that the angle should be 90 degree, right? So it could be any angle. But what is the point is that the the opposite sides are going to be equal and parallel to each other. Nice. So let's see. Let's draw that out. So these two are basically parallel to each other and also equal to each other. So can we draw it something like this? Like this. So what if I take two lines something like this and join that out. So is this a parallelogram? Yes it is. Because these two sides are equal and parallel to each other. Nice. So that was about the side. What about the angles? So the opposite angles are going to be equal to each other. For example, this one and this one is going to be equal to each other. 
and this one and this one is going to be equal to each other. Now you will say what about the diagonals? The diagonals are also equal to each other. Let's see that. So, so can you see one very special thing? What's that? Let me first draw this diagonal. Can you see one very special thing about this? So that is that it follows. Now the diamonds are also equal in the length. So that means that a parallelogram is also a rectangle, right? So you will say, how is it that? So what is a rectangle? Basically opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other like this. Then the diamonds are equal to each other like this in terms of the length and then what about the angles so the definition of parallelogram don't say that the angle should be this much or this much it could be 90 degree also right so that means a parallelogram is nothing but the uh, but the rectangle also now so that means very simple thing that the parallelogram and the rectangle are basically same to each other. Now I think that parallelogram is also clear to you. Let's move on to the other. So we had talked about the three quadrilaterals. Right. Square, rectangle and parallelogram. Let's talk about a one which you know already without realizing its name. Okay. So let's see that. So that is known as rhombus. Rhombus. Now do you know that this rhombus is, you know that, you know the shape of the rhombus. So let me tell you that shape. Let me draw that. So this rhombus looks something like this diamond right so the diamond is in the shape of the of the rhombus so basically it is not a diamond shape it is known as the rhombus so if you are going to see the sides of the rhombus they are parallel to each other this one and this one and this one and this one these are parallel to each other and one more thing which you are going to look is that all the sides are going to be equal to each other Yes, so this is going to be equal, this is going to be this is and this. All of these are equal to each other. What about the angles? Now, about the angles, the opposite angles are equal to each other. Let's see. So this is going to be equal. This is, uh, sorry, this, this and this, uh, the uh, opposite angles are equal to each other. And this and this are going to be equal to each other. What about the diagonals? So the diagonals are very special in this. Can you see something? Yes. These also meet at 90 degree. Something like a square. Yes. So this is a 90 degree angle. This is a 90 degree angle, this is a 90 degree angle and this is a 90 degree angle. We can see that, we can say that by observation also. So that means that this rhombus is uh, very 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 much similar to the, to the square. Yes? Nice. So let's move on to the other. I think this rhombus is also clear to you. This is the diamond shape. So now let's talk about the trapezium. Yes. Now this trapezium is a puzzle type. Okay, so let's see that this is a little mysterious quadrilateral. So trapezium So we are going to talk 
over the trapezium a one of its uh, one of the pair what is the quadrilateral made up of the four straight lines a closed figure made up of the four straight lines so in the trapezium one at least one of the one of the side uh, sorry one of the pair of sides should be parallel that's the definition of the trapezium and there is nothing about the angles nothing about the diagonals nothing about the sides just two lines should be parallel to each other and that should be closed by the four lines okay let's see that so if we are going to take two lines like this and join so this this is just parallel to each other so if we are going to join it any way like this or like this so this is going to be the pa uh, trapezium yes is it is it yes because these two are just parallel to each other so can we say can we see about the angles of the trapezium so basically none of the angles are going to be equal can we say that so basically we can't say anything about the angles of course right because the trapezium could be any could be in any way or oh, the thing is that the two sides are going to be parallel to each other and they could be joined in any way so in some cases there could be a opposite side opposite angle are equal in some cases it could be not so we can't say about the angles really what about the diagonals so now the diagonals are definitely not is uh, the diagonals are definitely not going to be equal so that was all the quadrilateral now let's revise that all okay don't let's bring that all together and let's mark that so let's have so first we have learned about the square square then about a very common quadrilateral rectangle and then we had read about the parallelogram like this and like this then we had then we had read about the rhombus basically the diamond shape then at the last now just now we had learned about the trapezium which we had read till now now let's see about their diagonals and angles and also yes the side so let's see that so all the sides of a square is going to be equal opposite sides of the rectangle is going to be equal now about the parallelogram yes opposite sides are going to be equal rhombus all the sides are going to be equal and trapezium of course so there is nothing no there is nothing about the sides of course it could be in any length right 
Now, let's see the angles and the diagonals. So, in the square, all the angles are 90 degree. In the rectangle, all the angles are 90 degree again. What about the parallelogram? So, the opposite angles are going to be equal. Then the rhombus, opposite angles again are going to be equal. And about the trapezium, none. So, then the diagonals of a square are going to meet each other at 90 degree and are equal to each other. Right? Then about the rectangle, the diagonals are going to be equal to each other. Then about this parallelogram, Again, the diagonals are going to be equal to each other. What about rhombus? Nice. So, the rhombus, the diagonals are going to be equal. Let me draw this with another marker. Yes. So, the diagonals are going to be equal. And they are going to meet each other at 90 degrees. Then, what this trapezium? Nice. So, what about the diagonals? Yes. So, the diagonals are not going to be equal to each other. So, you can see all of these. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. And have a cheerful day ahead. And in my next video, we are going to talk a little questions on these quadrilaterals and going to uh, and in my next video we are going to talk about the 3d shapes yes so for now let's end over here thank you for watching this video and have a cheerful day ahead if you want any improvement in me so you can comment it in the comment box thank you